Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Full Court Press. I am your host, Drew Duncan. Do not forget that Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is all at DrewDuncan83. Additionally, you can find me on YouTube. Simply look for Drew Duncan. The Full Court Press is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. And don't forget to look for us wherever you listen to podcasts. The NBA draft officially over with. The hype was real. We all kind of saw it coming. Zion Williamson is headed to the New Orleans Pelicans. No surprises really in the NBA draft. I think a lot of people just kind of knew who the first three or four picks were going to be. Uh, Accurate as ever this year. I think made for what was kind of a mundane draft. It is kind of good though, I will say this, to... Um, see kids and, and families responding the way that they have to this year's draft. There's a lot of really good backstories, both in the NFL and NBA drafts this year. A lot of kids feeling very emotional about their opportunities to make it to the big leagues. And I, I think for me, that's been the best aspect about this. You know, yeah, we're seeing a lot of flashy clothes, but we're seeing a lot of humility. We're seeing a lot of people who, have done anything and everything, what it takes. I mean, this is a culmination. When you see somebody in those kinds of tears, folks, this is a culmination. These are dreams coming true, becoming reality. And for that, uh, I am very excited because I love seeing people accomplish their dreams. But I will say this. The media hype for one Zion Williamson has become completely out of control. Does anybody remember Tim Tebow, right? Tim Tebow in the NFL. Remember the media hype that was around him? And I remember very vividly one of the things that Eric, or pardon me, Coach Tony Dungy discussed was he felt that Tim Tebow had a huge upshot. But unfortunately, with a guy like him, you were never going to be able to develop him as a backup quarterback and allow him to learn how to be a quarterback in the NFL because there was so much media attention surrounding him. Think about the biggest story that came out for Tim Tebow while he was with the New York Jets. It was him running down the football field and a picture and a video that was released But buff old Tebow out there streaking down the field with the water sprinklers on. It was just good, sexy media. Let's be honest. For a guy who, by the way, came out in a book and said that he was a virgin, they still try to, in some way or another, revere him in that manner. Because it sells. And Tebow sells. And Tebow still sells to an extent. The media frenzy that was around Tim Tebow was something that was, I thought, never going to be even paralleled ever again in in athletics. I mean, it really was ludicrous. It was completely out of control. All of the debates that were happening about Tim Tebow, whether or not he should be a pro quarterback in the NFL, I mean, that year that he had in Denver, I mean, I don't think I'd ever heard anybody's name mentioned more times. I mean, I remember John Gruden getting on a Monday Night Football game, and he said, stop talking about Tim Tebow and the one and four Denver Broncos. Remember that? Remember the arguments between Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith and whoever would choose to come on and be a pundit with them? All the nonsense, the cameras were on him 24-7. And the problem was, is even if Tebow wasn't going to be a starter, you still had plenty of people asking about him. And I even remember during that time frame when Denver was making that run in the NFL that year, going from 1-4 and four to 8-8 eight and eight and making the playoffs miraculously. And then, of course, the big game against the Pittsburgh Steelers in the wild card game. I remember very vividly an interview with Demarius Thomas who said for all the attention that he gets in the locker room, he's just a regular guy. Then after it was all said and done, it was don't let the door hit you on the way out, bro. Good riddance. 
See, what happens is, is players become scared when somebody has that kind of control. All the, the Denver Broncos fans made a billboard to get Tim Tebow to start in Denver. That's how serious it got. Do you know that Zion Williamson is getting ready to go on a media tour? For a guy who hasn't even played one game of professional basketball, he's getting ready to go on a media tour. What kind of pressure is Zion Williamson going to be under? He is never going to live up to the hype. A Hall of Fame career just won't be good enough for Zion Williamson. And if you don't believe me, Go and ask LeBron James, who went to nine straight NBA finals, and then the one year that he's on a basketball team that doesn't make the playoffs, it's LeBron James as an overhyped monster who can't get it done. Oh, yeah, he's been there nine times, but he's only won three of them. Go ask Tom Brady. People say that Joe Montana is a better quarterback because he's 4-0 in Super Bowls, even though Tom Brady has been to nine of them. And he has won six. Now, it's just not good enough, is it? 41 years old and winning a Super Bowl is just not going to cut the mustard. Sure as hell won't. Zion Williamson will never be able to live up to the expectation that is on him in this moment. Zion Williamson needs an opportunity to go and just play basketball and be a youngster. I remember... Mike Tyson one time saying that he was 19 years old, but he can't live like a 19-year-old. He can't make 19-year-old mistakes. We just heard an interview with Zion Williamson saying the exact same thing, that there's young kids that are watching him, that look up to him, that want to be like him, that he can't live like a 19-year-old and make typical teenager mistakes. I mean, that's a parallel, folks, and that's a scary parallel to think about. Zion Williamson is officially under the biggest microscope on planet Earth. During the NBA draft, as the Pelicans were getting ready to make their pick, ESPN had a journalist out there in the crowd, crowd surfing, yelling about how they're ready for Zion. They're ready for Zion Williamson. Let's make Zion He is never going to be able to live up to this madness. It will not matter what this dude accomplishes in his career. And when you think about all the busts that have all happened over a period of time, whether it's basketball or football, whether it was Morrison in basketball, whether it was Vince Young in football, whoever it was, it was a lot of it being hype train. And this is what happens right here. This is when it starts, is this sort of hype. A literal media tour for Zion Williamson as opposed to going out and just getting ready to play basketball. Has anybody seen that picture of Zion Williamson and every single reporter crowded around him? And then there's another basketball player sitting there by himself. Folks, that's a problem. That is a legitimate problem. And we have taken this way too far. Zion Man, I doubt you're listening to a, a guy like me right now, but dude, I just, I wish the best things for you, man. Keep your head on a swivel. I saw you in tears. Super awesome moment for you. And I truly hope that this all works out, my man. Guys, I am Drew Duncan, host of the Full Court Press. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is all at Drew Duncan 83 You can find me on YouTube. Simply look for Drew Duncan. The Full Court Press is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. And don't forget to listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts via Google, Spreaker, Spotify, CastBox, etc. We are there. And as always, don't you dare touch that dial.